how is the prisoner's dilemma linked with decision making why don't two rational people cooperate in choosing the best option for themselves how does understanding the prisoner's dilemma build your strategic decision making skills and transform your decision thinking from reactive to proactive i will explain the prisoner's dilemma in a non academic way in this video we'll explore how you can overcome this dilemma how you can strengthen your position and bargain for the best option we'll use the example of game theory to answer these questions this knowledge will prime your mind to think about your decisions strategically when more than one decision maker is involved i i'm sarit tagore my channel is all about providing you with tools and techniques for optimal living and continuous self improvement welcome to another episode let's start with a quote we are free to choose our paths but we can't choose the consequences that come with them the prisoner's dilemma is a classic example of game theory that shows why two entirely rational individuals might not cooperate even if it is in their best interest a prisoner's dilemma is when individual decision makers always become selfish to choose a less than optimal outcome to understand this concept let's create a hypothetical situation bill and rose are caught red handed in drug dealing in two separate incidents they were operating independently and had no loyalty to each other they know the consequences of their crime a minimum jail term of 2 years they are kept in two separate cells and are not allowed to talk with each other during the interrogation the prosecutor suspects that there is more to the story than meets the eye he has a strong hunch that bill and rose could have links with the armed robbery that happened 2 weeks ago but he doesn't have hard evidence he offers bill and rose an attractive deal with reduced jail time if they snitch on each other to provide the additional information here is a summary of what the prosecutor tells bill and rose in two separate conversations remember the two prisoners are not allowed to talk to each other scenario 1 Two years of jail term is guaranteed for drug dealing, and they have been caught red-handed. Scenario two: If Bill confesses and Rose denies it, Bill will have one year of prison, and Rose will get ten years. Scenario three: If Bill denies and Rose confesses, Bill will get ten years, and Rose will get one year of jail. Scenario four. if bill and rose both confess they will get 3 years each let's look at the payoff matrix for easy identification i will show rose in red color and bill in blue color if you look at the payoff matrix closely the most optimal solution for both of them is to keep silent by denying everything though they think rationally they don't choose the most optimal solution the fear of the other one confessing encourages bill and rose to betray or snitch on each other let's get into bill's head and see how he is thinking i don't know whether rose is confessing or denying it let me assume she is confessing then i must confess to restrict my jail term to 3 years if she confesses and i deny my jail term could move up to 10 years which is quite a risky proposition if she denies it and i confess my jail term would be only 1 year but how can i be sure what she is thinking whether she is confessing or denying under all probabilities i am better off confessing now if we get into rose's head she is also in a similar frame of thought she is also thinking she is better off confessing 
Her situation is also utterly symmetrical to Bill's thinking. They both rationally think of confessing instead of the most globally optimal state of denying. They both get three years by confessing instead of two years of denying. The biggest problem is that this quadrant is very unstable because Bill or Rose could attempt to move to other quadrants to maximize their benefits. Hence, neither Bill nor Rose wants to take chances and prefer to choose an option where they have more control over the outcome of their decision. Therefore, they both choose the most stable state, also called as the Nash Equilibrium, in which both get three years of jail. In layman's language, I would define it as how do I pick or decide the optimal choice irrespective of what the other party chooses. The Nash Equilibrium is named after the mathematician John Nash who defined a non-cooperative game involving two or more players. You can read more about him if that piques your interest. My aim is to take the sting out of learning and simplify things for easy understanding. So this is all about the prisoner's dilemma. The idea of prisoner's dilemma is that when each of the two parties acts selfishly and does not want to cooperate with one another, they do worse than when they work unselfishly and cooperate, that is, remain silent in our hypothetical example. Interestingly, the prisoner's dilemma is not just a hypothetical situation. You will find real life situations as well. For example, retailers engaging in a price war may well get into prisoner's dilemma. Each retailer knows that if he lowers his prices more than the rival, he will attract rivals, customers and gain higher profits. Therefore, they both decide to lower their prices and neither of them gains any additional profits. Instead, they both earn a smaller profit. We see this in geopolitics where the arms race starts because neither side can trust the other to reduce its level of armaments. You get the point. There is no way for the two sides to break free in the classic game theory because they cannot communicate. But there are opportunities for the two sides to communicate, share information and build trust in the real world. So my question to you is, are you in a situation where the outcome of your decision is dependent on others' decision? Are you in a scenario where you are better off cooperating than maximizing your returns separately? If yes, look for opportunities to cooperate through direct communication or signal your intention to the other party. Both players could do better if they cooperate. When the dilemma is repeated over several rounds with the same players, those that cooperate do better. Nice guys can finish first if they learn to cooperate. When facing a decision involving others, don't just look for the solution that maximizes your motives only. Look at the broader picture that benefits everyone and then look for ways to encourage cooperation. You will break free from the prisoner's dilemma by following these guidelines. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing, hit the like button and hit the bell icon to get notified when I publish new videos. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.